how do you get the square root of this number? I know it looks complicated, but it's really easy and pag-usapan natin yan in this new Learn With Laika video. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel and yes, we are back after a rather long break with new content na para sa inyo. And dahil ito ay isa sa mga pinaka-requested na tanong, pag-usapan natin kung paano makuha ang square root ng decimals. Now, singit ko lang dito, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want more educational content that you can access for free right here. And you can also join our Team Like a community. Alright? Now, let's jump right into the lesson. Sabi nga ni Maria sa Sound of Music, let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. And pagdating dito sa ganitong klaseng topic, maganda if we start by multiplying decimals. Through this, maintindihan natin yung konsepto. Doon gagawin natin mamaya. And even though a lot of people would just say na, ilista mo na lang, tapos susundin na lang namin, pagdating sa mga actual na exam, this is a great way for you to recall kung ano yung kailangan gawin. One of the ways to multiply decimals is you just move the decimal place yung dalawang number na multiply natin. That way, you can treat it as 2 times 2 na lang. And then you do that. So, 2 times 2 is 4. Pero hindi pa yan final answer. Sa dulo, ibabalik natin yung number of decimal places na minove natin para maging whole number yung dalawang multiply natin. Which means, this is 1, 2, ibabalik natin, kasi nga sa math, laging binabayaran ng utang. So, you start from here, kung nasaan yung decimal point sa number 4, and then you move 1, add a 0, 2. And then you put the decimal place right here, a 0 right here, the answer is 0 0.04. We have a detailed na video on multiplying decimals, ha? ililink ko na lang din sa taas. Now, dito tayo sa 0 0.06 times 0 0.06. It's the same concept. Move natin yung decimal place para maging whole number sila. You have 1, 2 right here. 1, 2 right here. Now, you have 6 times 6, which will give us 36. Again, hindi pa yan final answer. Nag-move ka ng decimal place ng dalawang beses at dalawang beses. 2 plus 2 is 4. So, you're going to have to move the decimal place na nandyan. 1, 2, 3, and 4 jumps. So, the answer is 0 0.0036. Now, bakit ko ini-explain ito? Dahil when you talk about yung square root of a decimal, like this, what you're asking is, ano ang number na kapag minultiply ko sa sarili niya, lalabas yung 0 0.0036. So, in order to do that, we are going to reverse engineer or backtrack yung ginawa natin proseso kanina para ma-solve natin ito. Now, how do we do that? Una sa lahat, kukunin natin yung square root nung digits doon sa decimal na yon. In this case, you have 36 na kung kukunin natin yung square root ay dalawang 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Now, kung hindi kayo familiar sa factoring or sa ways to get Yung square root ng number, meron tayong full series on radicals, ililink ko na lang din dito at sa baba. Okay? Next, we're going to count the decimal places. Here, para mabuo yung 36, ang decimal places natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times tayo nag-move. Yung 4 na yan, i-divide lang natin siya by 2, and that should give us 2. Tapos, yung 2 na yan, we will just move the decimal place back, doon sa nakuha nating number. This time, it is 6. So, we move it once and twice. It's going to give us 0 0.06. Now, kung babalikan natin yung solution natin kanina, napansin nyo na yun talaga yung dalawang minultiply natin para lumabas yung 0 0.0036. This is the same sequence of steps that you're going to do when it comes to getting yung square root of decimals kahit gano'ng karami yung zero na yan. Now, let's try a different number. This looks complicated kasi meron kang limang zero bago yung one for four. Pero we're going to follow yung step-by-step -step process natin. The first thing is to get the square root ng number na nasa dulo. So here, you're going to split it lang. One for four, pwede siya sa two. This is going to give you 72. 72, pwede uli sa two. 
36. Itong ginagawa ko nito, this is the factor 3. Again, na-discuss natin yan dun sa radical session natin, sa so simplifying radicals. Yung link nandiyan din, or pwede yung hanapin sa search bar. 36 is 2 and uh, 18. 18 is 2 and 9. 9 is 3 and 3. Tapos ipaparis-paris lang natin yung mga ilalabas natin. Now, I know some of you already know kung ano ang square root ng 144. Pero this is for the ones na hindi alam. So, you have 2 times 2 times 3 or 4 times 3 is 12. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung digit part ng no ating sagot is 12. Hindi pa yan final answer. Next step natin is to count the decimal places para mabuo yung 144. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 siya divided by 2 is 4. And then, yung 4 na yan, imumove lang natin yung decimal point dun sa 12. So, we're going to have the decimal point right here. Move natin 1. 2, 3, and 4, the answer is 0 0.0012. So again, it's really simple. It just looks complicated, which is probably why lagi siyang nandun sa mga aptitude exams. Civil service, OPCAT, LAE, mga ganong klaseng mga exams, lagi may ganitong tanong. Kasi marami ang masastump dito. But again, it's a three-step process. Kayang-kaya niyo yung gawin. Okay, now it's time for your quick quiz. All you need to do is to get your square root ng mga numbers na ito. And if you're ready, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Let's start with the first example. We have 0 0.0016. We're going to split this doon sa kanyang square root. This is 4 and 4. So, ibig sabihin nun sa ating sagot, ang digit niya ay 4. Let's count the decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ang ginalaw natin para mabuo natin yung 16. I-divide lang natin siya sa 2. This is going to give you 2. So, we'll move the decimal place dito sa 4. 1, 2, two steps, the answer is 0 0.04. Next, we have 0 0.000081. Now again, same thing. Split lang natin siya. 81 is just 9 times 9. So, ibig sabihin, 9 yung huling digit no sagot natin. Let's count the decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, from 9... 1, 2, 3, this is 0 0.009, 0 0.009 ang ating final answer. Did you get it right? Okay, taas natin ang konting level of difficulty. We have this number, 0 0.00121. Ang 1 to 1, kapag skin wear root natin siya, this is 11 times 11. Next, we're going to count the decimal places, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 1, 2, 3. So, the answer is 0 0.011. Question number 4. This is the longest number na meron tayo sa examples, but I'm sure kaya kaya nyo ito. 4, 4, 1 muna. Ano ang square root nito? Again, using the factor 3, 
we can start with 3. Kasi 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1, 9. Divide, divide natin sa 3, divisible siya. Ibig sabihin, the huge number is divisible by 3. Meron din akong full discussion on uh, factoring numbers, no? yung mga techniques to know if a number is divisible by 3, 4, 5, etc. Link ko na lang din sa taas. Okay? So, 3, start tayo sa 3. Divide natin yung 4, 4, 1 sa so 3. You have 1, and then you have 4, and then you have 7. This is still divisible by 3. This is going to give you 4 and 9. So, ang 49 is divisible by 7 and 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Which means, ang number natin sa loob ay 3 times 7 or 21. Now, ilan yung decimal places? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Para mabuo yung 4, 4, 1 or maubos yung decimal. So, kung 8 siya, i-divide natin yung 8 sa 2. This will be 4. Move natin to 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, the answer is 0 0.0021. And if you're watching this because you're taking an exam, uh, let me just show you some of the resources that we have. This is also a great way to support the channel because yung ating kikita from here helps me pay the bills, buy equipment, and of course, support my team to keep creating free content like this. Now, to get yours, go ahead and check out our Facebook page at uh, m.me slash team Laika. Alright, so that's it Luna, for now. I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Salam ako mag-exam dito sila para masalami tayong matulungan. And as always, lagi natin sinasabi dito, never stop learning. Adja, adja, kain niya. I'll see you on my next video and bye for now.